Marson's Domain. Hey everyone, Marson here, and today I want to talk about the three things that I'm most excited for for Mario Party Superstars. Now, if I were to get into each individual detail, it'd probably be more than three, because to be able to play Crazy Cutter again alone is already really exciting for me. And to be able to do book squirm, oh, okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna get very sidetracked just thinking about all these things, but the three main things that I'm most excited for for Mario Party Superstars, one is that the old format is back. I feel like Super Mario Party was a step in the right direction, but it just wasn't there. The overall pace just felt too slow. The minigames were great, but the boards to me were just not really that fun. And again, the pace just felt so slow. But with Superstars, we're getting N64 boards back and we're playing the old Mario Party formula. Now we could go back and forth on things that they've changed or added that we may not like, but overall, it's the old format back. There's something else exciting about the fact that the old format's returning in this game in particular, but I'm gonna save that for the end. The next thing that I'm most excited about is Mount Minigames. The reason being is that I feel like they finally managed to make a mode where it'll be fun to just do minigames. Because they've always had the option to go to another area and just do minigames, but for me it's kind of boring to just put a list of minigames and just do them. I would do it every now and then, and I'm sure as a kid I probably did it a decent amount. Maybe? <laughs> I really don't remember. And they've usually always had, if not always had, a side mode you could kinda do that just involved minigames with some type of board designated for just minigames. But I still feel like I would always just go to the regular boards because those just didn't feel as fun. The only one that I really have any memory of is doing the one in Mario Party 1. But other than that, I don't really think I ever did the side minigame stuff because it just didn't really grab my attention. I'd rather just do a regular board. Because if I really feel like playing Crazy Cutters or something, I could go do that, but I'd get my fix pretty quick. But with Mount Minigames, it's really seeming like they've got a formula down to where I'm going to want to actually do the side minigame mode quite a bit. Because from the information that's out there, it seems like there's leaderboards for everything when it comes to the minigames. So to have that and have this competitive side minigame mode, I have a feeling I'm going to do this quite a bit. And now that I've said my first two reasons, let's get to my last one. Because it coincides with the first and second one. And that is online play. I cannot begin to tell you guys how happy I am to not only have online play, to not only have it in both modes, but to finally have them say it and emphasize it and put it right in the front as much as they have. Anytime Nintendo has a new game coming out, I'm always weary on if it'll have online play, if it'll have online leaderboards, if the online seems like it's even gonna be good, with how it's set up, but with this game, well, to be fair, it could still be set up poorly, but the fact that they are really pushing the fact that this game goes online is just so refreshing because of how Nintendo can be sometimes, with either not letting us know all the modes that can go online or just leaving out details in general or just missing the mark when it's there. Again, they could still miss the mark, but with how much they're talking about it, I have a feeling it's gonna be a good time. And this is something that I've wanted for a really long time. I used to say that they should just take the first three games, remaster them, add online play, and there you go. And they've essentially almost done exactly that. And I'm just so excited to be able to experience that old Mario Party format with my friends online. Super Mario Party getting online for the boards was cool, but like I said earlier, that game felt like a step in the right direction, but it just really wasn't for me. But now I'm gonna have this one that I can play online with friends and with random people, so I pretty much have endless playtime. I am beyond excited. So those are the three things that I'm most excited for for Mario Party Superstars. Let me know what you're most excited for in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. If you wanna stay up to date with my videos and live streams, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Take care, everyone.